hey, thanks for taking time and stopping by and watching some of the upgrades that I've made to my car. First thing I did when I rolled it off the showroom floor is I took it to Northwest Arkansas, a place called Shantech Auto Spa. Had 9.8 Ceramic Pro done to the entire car. Rims, window treatment, paint correction, just about everything they could do. They did an incredible job. Took the car for about a week. They took pictures and updated me on a regular basis of their progress. I could not have been happier with the results. Greatest investment that I've probably made in this car for the long term really stands out against other cars. Again, Northwest Arkansas, Shine Tech Auto Spa. Next, I went with tires. Went with the Hellcat replica rims with the Nitto 555G2s. Put 9.5s on the front, 10.5s on the rear with the 275 40 20 on the front and the 315 35 20 on the back. Put a 5mm billet spacer on there. I've had about 5,000 miles on these tires and not a single rub. I really like the way that it looks from behind. The rims were nice. Took the center cap out of the new ones and put the old Dodge center cap back in. I'll be upgrading that at some point. But I really like the way that it looks. Again, I'll talk about the lights you see here in just a moment. Next up was a wicker bill. Put the ZL1 add-ons dark tint stealth wicker bill. Very easy to put on. There's YouTube videos on how to do that. I had no issues at all. I really like the way that it looks and the downforce that it gives while you're driving is just incredible. The next modification is pretty much cosmetic, but I like the way that it breaks up the line and gives it a little different look. It's the Spoiler King rear window roof spoiler. Easy to put on, took about 10 minutes to do it. Really like the way that it looks and kind of adds a little more downforce as well. Next up is the Lux Auto Concept tail light tint kit. Went with the dark all the way across. Like the way that it kind of blacks out the back of the car. Highly recommend doing that for a better look. Here you have the rear lip bumper valance diffuser. I took off the old muffler tips, had them powder coated black because I think it makes it look a lot better. Love the way it makes the car look from both the side and the back. Next up, we have the Lux Auto Concept pre-wrapped LED side markers. Went with a dark honeycomb. I like the way it looks during the day. At night when they're lit up, really like the honeycomb look to it. Couldn't have been easier to install. I have a video on YouTube as well. Feel free to look it up. Next up is the Lux Auto Concept taillight badge decal, the Daytona that goes under that rear light right there. Again, purely cosmetic, but I like the way that it looks. Then I went with something I've only seen one time on the internet, and I've never seen it in person. I decided to install custom rear side vent lighting. I got up under the car, I figured out what it would take, what kind of parts would I need, how would I mount it, how would I wire it, all those things. And I finally figured out exactly what it would take. So I wired it up. It also made it very functional too, but when you look at it, it looks like honeycomb LED lighting at night from the rear. Did it on both sides, really a simple process once I figured out exactly how to do it. Then people said, well, what is it gonna look like during the day? I didn't want it to look goofy, but here's what it looks like during the day. You absolutely can't even tell they're there. It looks like the standard honeycomb vent, but then I went ahead and made it functional as well. I wired it so it would work with the blinkers, both left and right and brake lights. Here's a video. On the front of the car, I put the ZL1 add-on front splitter extension with the titanium splitter guards. Easy to install. I like the way that it makes the car look lower to the ground. Gives it a much more aggressive look from the front and from the side. Couldn't be happier with the way this turned out and really makes the car stand out when you look at it from the front. Next are a few fun upgrades. I went with the unit in R3 radar detector with the blend mount. Love the way it looks. It's easy to install. If you don't know how to do it, I did a video, walk you right through the whole process. I put a front and rear dash cam in there, the Rexing V1P Pro. It's a 1080p full HD front and rear. The wiring to make it happen was very easy. I fixed that wire in the back with a 90 degree angle so it fits right up in there and it looks great. Here we have the American Car Craft Brush Stainless Steel front door badge. Wanted to keep the stainless look on the whole door so I added that just below the handle of the door there. I like the way that it looks on both sides. Nate from Rebadge Design and Graphics did me a steering wheel badge. Love the way it looks. I really hated the way that the door lock trim 
looked with the bolts and all the silver. So I found some black stainless uh, door lock trim covers, put them on the front and rear. Made a huge difference in the way the car looks when the doors are open. While we're talking about decals, put a Daytona 392 front and rear door sill on the car. On the back, I just put a simple 392. Adds a little protection from getting in and out, plus it looks good. Then I added the Lux Auto Concept rear side window flag decal. Simple to put on, very straightforward. Next, on the inside, I added a Pro Clip angle dash mount with the Magic Mount Pro XL for my phone. Highly recommended. Then I went ahead and did what most people do, is replaced all the interior and exterior lighting with super bright LEDs. That goes for under the doors, front and rear. I added a Z Automotive Taser with double bypass. Under the hood, I went with a Drake strut brace. Easy to install, like the way that it looks. Added some decals on the valve covers there. Put an ABS cover on to cover up the ABS components. Certainly a billet technology oil cash can as well. Here in the near future, I'm gonna be looking at doing some hydrographics under the hood. We'll post those as I get them. As far as amenities, I got pretty much everything I could get on the car. I loved my ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, rain sensing wipers, heated seats, all the things that really are about convenience. I love everything I got. In the end, just a fun car to drive. Got a lot more stuff coming. Thanks for watching. I'll post more as I get them.